this is YouTube Joseph W. Walking with Murray. Walking with Marine Reptilians bonus program. Alright, we begin. Yes, right, let's begin. So in this. So in this program, you'll see the extinction of the dinosaurs, turtles, and marine reptiles. Here we go. Yes, right, let's begin. So it's 65 million years ago, and an asteroid the size of Mount Everest slams into the, into the tank and it's over with the force of 100 million megatons for 10 billion times the Hiroshima bomb. Boom. Boom. In an instant, everything's incinerated due to fireball and due to a fireball and thermal radiation. And also... It generates shock waves and a heat pulse or blast front. The heat pulse moves as fast with the ejector cloud as well as a 3.1 mile one high mega tsunami that rushes across the coastline wah, and destroys all life here as well as Massive debris triggers air burst and ejector cloud. There's also debris rains down, triggers air burst, fires as well as ejector cloud. And a shockwave blast front heat pulse all rain down as well as a 13 earthquake on the Richter scale. Oh no. And any creatures that survive the initial impact will have to endure acid rain and darkness and an impact winter. Temperatures plummet. Though, and this is all in months after. And with no way, well, now with the smoke, soot, ash, and dust blocked out the sun, plants die and the herbivores die. Too then. And then the carnivores die. And the age of dinosaurs comes to an end. Then global warming on steroids happens. Well, in the sea, even though every dinosaur is dead in the first three and a half months, in the sea is there's still the marine reptiles. Anyway, but the marine reptiles die after a couple of years too. And within the first ten years. And then now, the dinosaurs are all extinct. Small animals that survive include this mammal called Predatorius and bugs. Predatorius is a protoprimate. It has survived the extinction. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. As always, bye-bye.